I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about the point-slope equation versus the slope-intercept equation. Now, both equations are very important when it comes to graphing lines because they both allow you to graph the lines given whatever information that you're provided. Now, they're both very useful, even though one form is probably a little bit more popular than the other. So we're going to talk about both equations and you know, discuss the differences between the two. So first, we're going to address the point-slope equation. I'm going to abbreviate it by PS for short. Now, you use the point-slope equation whenever you're given a point as well as the slope of the line itself. So the form for the point-slope equation is y minus y1, which is the y-coordinate that they give you, equal to the slope, which is oftentimes the letter m, times x minus x1, which is the coordinate, x-coordinate of the point that you're provided. Now, if you're given a point and a slope, it allows you to graph a line rather easily. Now, the slope-intercept form, which I'll denote slope-int for short, is often the more popular of the two forms. It's often written as y equals mx plus b. Now, let me just break down what those letters stand for. x and y, you recognize as, of course, x and y. m is the slope of the equation. And b is the y-intercept of the line. In other words, the line for which the point at which the line touches the y-axis. Now, oftentimes in algebra, because the slope-intercept is the more popular of the two, because you can graph a line using the y-intercept and the slope, you often use the point-slope equation and you write it to transition into the slope-intercept form. So the two are very useful, but one is more useful than the other, as you can see. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that is point-slope versus slope-intercept.